It seems like all you see is a bunch of fields. I wanna see like a mountain or something. I wanna go to the pyramids. So I was looking at a few options and I saw that two hours from where we live, there's this boutique hotel that has a bunch of themed rooms. So one, I love stuff like that. Like I love how someone made a hotel so you don't have to leave the Midwest, you know? You get all these different locations in one building. Yeah. <laughs> Time to travel so, the world. Yes. <laughs> I wonder what's gonna happen next. <laughs> and it's all in a castle. Or if you wanna sound more educated, we're staying at a chateau. We have made it to France. We're at the chateau. This is one of the big features, is it's a water fountain. As you can tell, it's not on right now, but apparently it's like the best water fountain in Kansas City. It's annoying even saying Kansas City because I want to act like we're in France, but... Basically the France of Kansas City though. 24 statues and standing over 25 feet tall, the Beaumont Fountain brings the best of Paris to a wooded hilltop in Kansas City. Yeah, we're in the Paris of Kansas City, it seems like. Like, it feels like a fantasy land. I know all these mermaids. His ass is out. Oh. Like, this is just yeah, very is. mystical. If it was on, we'd be able to see water squirting out of that fish's mouth. They all would be squirting. This is cool now, but I do have to admit, um, it just scares me, so. Like, if you look at this guy, like, he's actually, like, looking directly into your soul. <laughs> Fantasy keeps getting wiped from my mind because I have allergies and I feel like if I was actually in France I wouldn't have allergies. Oh, okay, that definitely isn't a thing there. Didn't they like somehow cancel allergies in Fr France, I'm assuming? There's no way people have allergies in Paris. But yeah, as you can see, this is the mansion we're gonna be staying in tonight. So bougie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just so everyone knows, my favorite part of a castle is that part on the side with windows surrounding it and it's like a circle cylinder thing. Oh, a tower type thing. Yeah, that's my favorite part of a castle. Could create a new answer to seem unique, but it's honestly my favorite part of the castle too. You know there's at least three rich kids watching this right now being like, what's the, even the big deal? That's how big my house is. Because doesn't it kind of just look like a mansion? This hotel somehow has 61 rooms. Like, isn't this how big Usher's house is? Snooki is living in a house like this oh, in New Jersey. 100%. For to Snooki, this would be nothing. Kind of seems like we're not allowed to like walk in. Like it doesn't seem like a lobby, you know what I mean? I know, I feel like we're gonna walk in and immediately get shot because it's someone's house. I know, I feel like we're like, delivering Girl Scout cookies or something. Okay, no one's in the hallway so I can talk. We just checked in. So should we go to our room now? Mm. Like 10 more minutes? Okay. Can we go, go to the room now, do you think? Yeah. All right. I don't know what we were even waiting for, but... I just felt like we needed to. Each room has like a different name because they're all unique ones. One, the Monte Cristo suite. We aren't talking about the sandwich, the French toast with eggs and stuff. We're talking about the island in Italy that honestly I might not have even known about. I had to Google it. It feels like we just walked into a haunted suite. <laughs> like, are we in the haunted mansion? Okay. <laughs> it did feel ominous there for a second. Look how tall the ceiling is. Some part of a castle. Oh, okay, that's like the type of trimming castles have. Monte Cristo um, is actually very exclusive. It's this island in Italy, like I said, and it's had like a, a lot of history, but right now it's a nature reserve. So they just like wanna preserve all the nature and stuff. And there's only two people living on the island right now. And only like a thousand people can visit it year and you have to get approved like me and lucas probably will never get a chance to go to monte cristo because like it takes years to even get approved and stuff but at least we can stay in the monte cristo suite basically the same thing tau va bien so i mean that means like have a glass of wine oh it's the it's the bathroom this part of the suite isn't very themed this just reminds me of like the 80s or something? Yeah, they should have had this like a dungeon theme because I picture back in the days of castles, I guess this isn't even, I'm so confused now, like this this is a castle theme, but also like now it's a nature reserve or? Well, is Monte Cristo also a castle place? I feel like it's kind of just based off like Italy in general, castles. I yeah, that'd be know. cool if they would have made like a stone shower and stuff, but I get it. Like just keep the bathroom normal so we look at their hygiene, you know, and have the rest of the suite themes. Yeah. Googling it and there's also a famous novel called The the Count of Monte Cristo. Um, It could also kind of be based off that. 
I pillars. love a big pillow, yeah, same. No, that is the signature of wealth, pillars. We need to open up windows. I feel like claustrophobic in here, kinda. Wait, we're like actually in nature, guys. Look over there, there's like a hotel, but still like this tree place. Oh these, these trees. it's so pretty. <laughs> Recognized by the Kansas City Star as one of the top five suites in the region. Oh wait. Oh, I, th I thought you just disappeared. Oh, this is like Rapunzel vibes. No, yeah, I just wish I had a long wig. This just has a bunch of stuff that you guys don't care about. A little rug hanging from the wall. Yes. I'm assuming there's some guns in here. Oh no, it's robes. I thought this was like a gun cabinet. It has this grand twisted staircase. It turns out we're actually in our favorite part of the castle, the little tower area. Oh. This is making me think that if I lived in a time where there was kings and queens and castles, I'm gonna be a peasant. I just get this overwhelming thing where I'm not meant to be here. I feel like I'm meant to be here. I feel like I was here in a past life. Oh, so you actually are royalty. Yeah, I feel like at home. And I'm pretty sure the psychic twins told me like I was royalty back in the day. <laughs> you are going to be on the stage and it, it will be kind of- So I watched the horn tile video and they didn't say anything about Lucas being royalty. So he lied, fake news, detected. What the f Monkey bar bed type thing. Tells you every channel. This place does kind of feel like we're going back in time to like the 90s or something. <laughs> no, I love this. This giant speaker, like we can blare the TV. I know, we're gonna annoy everyone in this hotel. Now you can tell this is like a romantic type hotel because like the couples come in here and light a candle on each thing and like play like Ariana Grande slow music. This might fall apart today. Oh shit. The stairs keep on going up, we're just twisting up. And then it all leads to this grand pinnacle. A holy shine. Also known as just a big bathtub. I mean, this is a, this is a cool suite. It is the most unique room I've ever stayed in ever. No, I love like having a theme like this rather than making it modern, you know? I know, it's, it's way more fun. This is just insane how tall this room is. This is dangerous. Can you imagine, can you picture people getting out of the bathtub and slipping out that window? I'm pretty sure multiple people have died in this room. No, I'm just joking. You know, so many people watching this video were literally conceived in this bath. Because how long has this hotel been around? I don't know, probably for a long time. <laughs> I feel like somehow I as a male would get pregnant by going in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you, you just know there's a bunch of sperm remnants all, remnants all around it probably. I want this bedside table. It is very unique. Wait, why are my hands wet? There's like wet stuff over here. And then probably someone get an in-room massage, massage oils. Yeah, it smells like Lysol or something. Since I was 12, I've been manifesting, having a video on my YouTube channel where it starts on a grand staircase and I say, welcome to my house. Come along for the tour. And you could say that manifestation hasn't come to life because this isn't my house. They always say the universe will answer your prayers, but like in a mysterious way. So like you thought you'd own the house and you'd be able to do that, but it's really just renting you have the it suite. for one night. Yeah, renting the suite for a night was the true plan of the universe. It's just weird being in this room. Like it kind of makes me uncomfortable. I know, I, I love it though, because it doesn't feel like a hotel. Like I feel like we're, this is actually a mansion. Somehow Jamie Lynn Spears invited us to our house and like oh, we got yeah. to stay in one of the rooms. Oh my God, this mirror. We got so many <laughs> Instagram places. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna get a lot of content here for my Instagram. <laughs> and the same, I know a lot of you guys follow me and you think, what, you haven't posted a photo in like two years. Like this honestly might be my comeback. Like I'm feeling inspired. <laughs> There's this fountain too and this red button, Mike. Oh, it's not plugged in. Oh! oh. We'll keep in that on all night. I know, I, it's calming to me. Is it gonna overflow though? It won't, right? Yeah, honestly, I do kind of want to turn it off. I'm plugging it in case it causes a fire. <laughs> yeah, turns out you can't really enjoy anything when you're stressed about everything. <laughs> Way to be fine. That's another like, another thing that isn't English. <laughs> I know. You know those other language people watching and they're like loving that we're saying it. <laughs> There's a really cool old time clock, but it's not saying the right time to further emphasize you're on vacation. Don't worry about that trivial worldly thing. Oh. We're just simply walking around the hotel. I thought I would have, have something to say about the hotel hallways, but it turns out I had nothing to say. I just noticed that these uh, table next to me, the legs are little like boards. 
That is cute. I love when st stuff is excessive. People often ask, how much money does it take to live like the luxurious Lucas and Jacob? It's always trending, people wanna know. This room that we're staying in is the most expensive room at this hotel. I just had to book it because I probably won't ever stay in this hotel again, so I just have to like fully just do it. How much did you bust down? $5,000. What? Take off a zero. It was $500. Well, like it was $400, but then somehow with taxes. Oh yeah. It's $500. But I noticed on the receipt that um, there was a dollar and 75 cents for an SBF fee. And I tried Googling it and I don't know what that means. Do you get free sunscreen? That's what I was thinking, but I don't see any free, free sunscreen in this room. I just want to say that none of my funds went into booking this hotel, so technically I did get it for free, but just like when influencers get free makeup, you know, I do want to say it's not sponsored and all thoughts and opinions are still my own. I thought we have a shield bank account. No. Oh, okay. So mom's been lying to me. So, oh my um, gosh. I just, I feel like you have to show them what we're looking at right now as you sit on this couch. Like there's a literal castle tower. Just look at that right in front of us. A castle tower, that big circle thing. Glamorous, glorious, every G word out there describes it. <laughs> Is it gay? Because it starts with a G. <laughs> mm. It's ostentatious. I'm pretty sure the woman sat at the front desk half the hours till six and it is 519. We need to get down there. <laughs> oh, we need to get a cheap drink, a cheaper drink than what it would be if it wasn't happy hour. Come see why our bartender is one of the most talked about in the region. You'll drink, you'll laugh, and feel like you left with a new friend. I have a lot of expectations now. I know, and it does give me slight anxiety. I know, because I kind of wanted to stay to ourselves. Yeah, but now I don't it's really like, wanna, yeah. it's gonna be this whole like thing where we have to put all this social energy out. I'm good to go. Good. <laughs> Let's hit the bar. While we were walking to the D Nile bar, there was this little shrine of all the celebrities that have been here. And I guess like Will Ferrell has been here. Maybe he stayed here when he was filming R Ricky Bobby, the NASCAR movie, because there's a big NASCAR thing right across the street, so. <laughs> We got some drink orders in before happy hour, clothes, and we've got some food in the works. We're in the patio area, but Lucas said when we were driving here that he wanted to go to Egypt, and there was a few Egyptian statues in the bar inside area, so you yeah. did kind of get to live your fantasy for a bit there. On the way to the bar, we in the hallway, we saw this giant Egyptian thing, so like, I feel like I did sort of visit Egypt today as well, which is great. <laughs> it's like 5.30 right now, but I still ordered a tequila sunrise because I want to live in this fantasy where I'm just such a pouty boy and I woke up at three o'clock in the afternoon and this actually is my like coffee for the day. It is weird because part of me thinks that <laughs> our energy sucks everyone out of the room because I feel like with a lot of these videos we always are in places that are vacant so I just feel like when we enter a space everyone just wants to leave. Yeah everyone asked for a refund once they saw us. Ooh, finally hit to me that like, it's called a tequila sunrise because it actually looks like the sunrise. Wait, <laughs> I, I opted for a Moscow mule. Why does it always come in that cup? That's why I did it, because I don't think I've ever actually had a Moscow mule before now, I don't think. I've tried sips of people's. This is my first time ever actually fully doing one. Oh, that is good. I love it. <laughs> there was a boy a very strange enchanted boy. I am just a full on nature boy. That's me. No, it's... For the app, <laughs> we got hummus, pita, and carrots. Yeah, we actually originally ordered a charcuterie board just so you guys know everything. But they said, unfortunately, the sausage is out. Somebody last night ate a bunch of sausage. So we got hummus and pita. The pita is warmed. This is like a red purple hummus. Mm. I love it. This takes me back to about 2013 when I first learned about hummus and I remember somebody told me, yeah, it's, it's like chip dip, but it's so healthy. Like you can have chips and dip and it's so good for you. And that's about when it came out, right? 2013? Yeah. First time I tried it, I was like, ew, it tastes like ill wax, but now I love it. Mm. I think the ratio is off. Hummus for poor pita, because there's more pitas. Oh, we're gonna run out? Yeah. The start getting smaller pieces. No, like I'm really stressed about it. 
That's a weird. Uh... Thank God nobody else is out here because if another two people were here, we know they would feel awkward and they wouldn't talk and we wouldn't talk and it would just ruin the whole thing. Is, I feel like it? the only way people would be allowed to talk is if every table was full. Then and you'd be able to fully talk. Yeah, it's like it's like a scientific law. Who's gonna use their finger? I'm not in the mood today. Oh. <laughs> laugh. It's your time to laugh. Live. It's your time to live. Smile. It's your time to smile. Sweetie, one day you'll be in heaven and you'll miss off. That was really well said. Why is it invisible to the camera? Oh, it's right over there. I had to get up out my seat uh, because we... there was a spider right in front of me. Uh, do we have to kill it? Because I, I can't eat in peace if that's there. Should we just move tables? Yeah, honestly, that's probably tables, the better idea. Yeah. I guess death doesn't have to be, ha death doesn't have to happen. Okay. The food just arrived. What did you get, Lucas? I got a barbecue chicken pizza. The barbecue is embedded into the cheese, I'm guessing. Looks very good. It's very big. I was kind of scared it was going to be a little puny flatbread, but this is a full-on pizza. I got the strawberry balsamic chicken flatbread. And the reason why I got it was simply because there was parentheses under in red that said chef's special. If the chef likes it and it's his special, I'm getting it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I actually got chicken pesto, I think. <laughs> Mine kind of tastes like a salad mixed with a pizza. Mm. It's reminding me of something a housewife would order to be healthy. That's not what I was trying to do, but it turns out I did that. There's just nothing better than enjoying a meal, having microphones on, having a camera. It just feels so authentic to me. Like, remember I heard this thing that Madonna didn't really want to have conversations early in her career unless it was being filmed. So it's kind of like, I don't really want to eat if it's not on camera. Exactly. Want to swap a piece? This is my first time ever having strawberry on pizza. It's good. I hate to say it, but yours is better. It's like way better. Yours is classic and mine is more adventurous and mm. I just don't think I'm that adventurous yet. After dinner drinks. <laughs> we both got tequila sunrises. So it's my turn? Yeah, draw four. Did you already draw four? Yeah. Hey guys, I just got to my hotel room in Monte Cristo. It's so nice. Oh my God, there's a Hello, bartender. Hello, Lucas. Is your name Lucas? Yeah, oh my God. Are you just come with the room, a bartender? Yeah, we just make you any drink that you want. <laughs> oh my God, this is so crazy. Do you care if I video take this for all my fans? No, that's fine. Hi, what's your fan name called? <laughs> Luke Army. Hey, Luke Army. <laughs> what, 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 what do you want tonight? Um, Bud Light. <laughs> oh yeah, we have that in stock. Dylan Mulvaney. <laughs> oh, you guys support her? Yeah, we're I'm... fine with transgender people here. Oh my God, I didn't know that. I didn't know the policies of Monte Cristo, but I'm happy it aligns with my views. And Luke Armies. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, so you can just do whatever you want now. You don't have to hang out with me. Oh, okay. Like even when I go to bed, you're just gonna be down there at the bar? I sleep on that couch. Oh, what if I wanted to have like a friend sleep there? When do you have a day off then? I actually don't have a day off. I don't get paid either. Oh wait. Now I just feel bad about the whole thing. Yeah. But whatever, I just won't think about it, I guess. Well, since you're in Well, thank so... you. No what? problem. What were you gonna say? You could make a documentary exposing the inhumane part of this Monte Cristo. Um, I would, but I kind of want to just do a happy video. Yeah. But yeah, like maybe someone else who visits will. Okay, anyway. So yeah, this room was really nice. We stole our parents' credit card while they were on a business trip and we bought the biggest suite in the town. Wouldn't that actually be a Disney Channel original movie? The biggest suite in Kansas City. It's 1996. They just got like $3 million for selling a company. And then they build this for their kids' bedroom. Oh my God, it does give that. Yeah. Pre-recession house builds. It is only 7.30 and we don't plan on going to bed anytime soon, but should we plan our breakfast? Yeah, I feel like I kind of just need to know what my next meal is going to be. It's one of those cool hotels where you can just put it on your door. I don't have to call anyone. You just have to put it on your door by 11 p.m. At night. First of all, time of delivery. 
They're like nine? There's only 9.15 and 9.45. Let's do 9.15. So I'm gonna get a baked strata. Just for full transparency, we had to Google what strata meant before filming this. Nah. I'm also gonna get baked strata and I'm gonna get everything on it. Okay. Toto, it doesn't seem like we're in Kansas anymore. Are we somewhere over the rainbow? Did you know that Monte Cristo translates to Mountain of Christ? So we're technically on a holy ground right now? I could have guessed for that. I didn't know that, but I could have guessed for that by how I feel being here. I feel full of Christ. This is how you know you're in the most expensive hotel room. If, if it takes five minutes to get to the bottom floor. I know, like we were <laughs> so separated and we're in the same room. We got bored of the hotel, so one of the amenities close by is the Hollywood Casino. I know, I picture we're gonna walk in, there's gonna be Marilyn Monroe, Frank Sinatra. A red carpet when we walk in, paparazzi, everything, you know? Oh my gosh, we're walking in. We were so excited, but then we just realized it just is a normal casino. We thought there might be like a dance floor or something. So after 10 minutes, we left. One of the biggest features of this room is the jetted bathtub, so of course we have to use it. Pillars are surrounding it, it's very luxe. You just know back in the day, a king or queen would be in here. Get me a sandwich! And one of the solvents that's getting paid nothing would bring it up. I know. And hope for a better life that they'd never get. Oh, you plug the thing down there. You wait, this is soap from the last people. You that soap from the last people? Yeah, I'm gonna put it's it. It's been off someone's ass. This just reminds me of The Sims. Oh, it does. This is such a Sims activity. No, this whole room reminds me of The Sims. Oh my God, it actually does. Uh, I feel like back when this hotel was built, people actually lived like Sims. Let's add in the bath soap. <laughs> Bubble it up. Wow, I'm in the bathtub. It is very giant, but we only filled it up like one fourth of the way because just filling it one fourth of the way took like 20 minutes. So filling the full thing would take an hour and we don't have time for that. We do have time for that, but we just don't want to spend time doing that. This hotel gave us bath bombs though. I don't even know what that smell is, but it smells like a flower. Oh my gosh, it's bubbling! It just feels very lonely up here and silent. There is a fake olive tree behind me, which does give the illusion that I'm outside. Okay, that's enough. Probably like 45 <sighs> minutes later. I'm being sucked on right now by a f***ing rodent. I just looked at my leg and I was in the bathtub with a tick on me. There's a tick sucking on my Jacob. blood right now. Jacob, I actually have a confession to make. <laughs> oh my god, this is so weird, Jacob. I'm not kidding, when, I, when we were at dinner, I literally saw that on your leg and I remember thinking, um, wait, why do you have a scab? And I was gonna ask you how you got a scab, but I just forgot somehow you were talking about something else. Lucas. Why didn't you tell me? Because I thought it was a sky. <laughs> it's 12.30 and we're about to go to bed. I do have to admit, I do feel scared. It just feels so empty in this room. Knights are gonna break in and like lock us in a dungeon. Because yeah. isn't there some queen that probably went into this hotel room and tries to haunt it? If an actual queen is haunting a fake castle <laughs> room, it's like she's pathetic. Night, night. So I woke up like two times and I just can't get used to waking up and seeing this, whatever it's called in the middle of the room. I keep thinking I'm waking up in another world where I'm like a princess and I just married a prince. It just is like a whole mind f and I can't get used to it. For the last like four hours, it feels like I've been um, holding in my pee because I don't want to take this walk down to the bathroom. But I finally got the courage and I'm gonna go to the bathroom. It's 8 o'clock and we just woke up. Did you notice that there's an actual, like, 
uh, vault at the ceiling. Oh yeah, I saw that yesterday, it's so cool. I slept good, but it's just that there's so many windows, so once it got light, like I haven't been able to really go to bed since, but. Because you're just waking up when nature lets you know, it tells you to wake up. Uh, nature's alarm clock. So for me, I went to bed for like an hour, but then for like the whole time that it was dark out, I kind of just stayed up because something about this room is so weird. And I just like, uh, I probably got like, four hours of sleep but somehow i'm not even i'm not even tired staying in this room though just just makes me feel like you should wake up to like birds chopping singing a song to you oh and then birds would make the bed and like clean up the whole place <laughs> yeah we both just took showers and to be honest when i was in the shower it felt like i was kind of in a dungeon. It felt like I was on a spaceship and this was the dungeon part of the spaceship. Oh, I didn't think that. I just thought it was funny how there was two shower heads and then I... It's just funny. This does sound wasteful, but for half the shower, I did turn on both shower heads because I just wanted to live this glamorous life oh. and be wasteful. I wish I would have been like Trisha Paytas in that one shower in that one house she had. Yeah, it kind of was like that. This fountain kind of sounds like there's someone constantly in the corner of the room in a urinal pissing. Oh my god! I just got handed a tray full of breakfast stuff. I actually need breakfast because I just feel like my head is swollen and I, and I kind of feel like I'm kind of out of it in this way. I know, I need food. I just feel like I actually am the um, the um, wife and queen of Asali's right now. For some reason, in my mind, I was the wife of the queen of Asali's, and um, you were my son, and I was like trying to make conversation with you, but I don't know what to talk about because like, <laughs> you just play video games all day. It's actually funny because I think they came exactly at 9.15. We noticed that this room, though, like every now and then you hear like a bang. Like it sounds like an earthquake happened or something. Why is that? That happens in like even my, the like the house I live in. Like I think it's just like a thing that happens sometimes. Everything just suddenly adjusts or something the whole structure. <laughs> I couldn't feel myself becoming alive again. <laughs> it's just a giant egg bite. I had a headache before eating and it went away. Like it went away um, 85%. This food cured everything. Even though we are royalty today, we still have to put this outside the door. Like we don't have a solvent doing that for us. <laughs> it's so funny because we're for sure one of five people at this hotel. It just feels so vacant around here. A Monday. Well, I had a grand time. Weirdly, I am excited to leave, but 